For this toy and more, check out BigBadToyStore.com. Check out the link in the description. Hey YouTube, Rider Zero here today with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at SH Figure Arts Final Form Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. That's kind of a mouthful to say there. Uh, this particular figure is actually really awesome. Um, and I said that like I was really crazy. Don't know why, but it's a really cool figure. Um, but no, this it is actually a really good figure. Uh, it's actually one that I had not intended on picking up, really. Because I hadn't really gotten into the Dragon Ball Z line that much. Uh, however, I picked up some other figures and decided that this one needed to go with it because it looked pretty awesome. So, taking a look at the box, it's pretty much your standard figure arts box, except in English, because this is the English release version. Um, as you know, you can see there by Funimation and Dragon Ball Z at the bottom. On the side of the box, you get Frieza in his classic crossed arms pose, which pretty much every villain or pseudo villain has on Dragon Ball Z. On the side of the box, it continues around the picture from the front, so you kind of get the full funky looking Frieza face there. And then on the back, your standard figure arts jargon with poses, stuff about Frieza, etc., etc., and a few of the kind of get a glimpse of some of the accessories that it does come with. Speaking of which, we'll set this aside and we'll take a look at the accessories. Move Frieza kind of in frame a little bit there. As far as the accessories, he does come with the death ball attack, which is kind of crooked because I moved it. Uh, it comes with the little accessory there you can see that holds the actual energy ball up. Um, it just kind of snaps on or attaches to the wrist. You can put it on or off with or without the hand on. It does come with another energy attack, which is kind of the kind of looks like snot pull it dripping down. That's really gross. Uh, but it pegs in right here, if I get that on camera. See if we can focus in on it a little bit here. Pegs in right there at the bottom of this particular energy attack. So you can use the included Tamashi stand that it comes with. Speaking of stands, it does come with that one that he's actually standing on, which is not a Tamashi stand. We'll take a look at that one in a second. So you get this energy attack. You also get another tail, which has the... Um, this is kind of closed in like that. According to the back of the box, you can actually use it to hold up the uh, Vegeta figure art and choke him out. So that's pretty cool. It is articulated here at this particular peg. You can see, if I get the tail out of the way, that this particular part does move and it does rotate there at the tail as well. This part actually comes apart as well, uh, right there in the middle. You can So you can give him that look like he got his shell. His shell. I cannot say tail without adding a ch in front of it and completely taking the T out. You can remove this part of the tail so it looked like it got chopped off. So that was pretty cool that they included that. You do also get the crossed arms arms if you choose to pose it like that. I did not. I kind of like that pose and it goes well with that stand. You also get two additional heads. You get the kind of smirky head that you see on there which we'll take a closer look at in a second. You also get the angry screaming I'm going to kill you all face. And then you also get the... I just got punched in the eye and that really hurt Charlie kind of face. Aside from that, you get the feet that come on them actually have pegs on the bottom that help to uh, make Frieza stand on that stand. Otherwise, you do get the normal feet, which are right here. Just peg in there. Nothing on the bottom. So you get those two, uh, that set of feet. You also get this set of feet, which is kind of like a, I guess you could say it's kind of like a, uh, a relaxed, you know, if you if you pose them floating, I think these would go good on it. I think that's what it's actually for. And it is, does also actually differentiate there. It has an L for left and an R for right. So you don't ever get your feet confused. Aside from that, he comes with the pointy finger for the death ball attack. Another pointy finger, which according to the back of the box, the pose that you kind of use this one for, I'm assuming, uh, is when he's got his uh, tail chopped off and using the, uh, I just got punched in the eye face, you know, that kind of like, you know, what are you doing, how are you that strong kind of point, like, oh crap, at least that's the way I took it, so you get that hand, you also get the additional fist that actually goes on uh, the right hand, which was taken off, you get this set of fit, this set of hands, which is kind of like an open, you know, either a high five hand, or what I'm assuming its use is, is for using this kind of energy ball attack and kind of put it there and it looks like he's you know shooting that particular power so you get that set of hands and then last but not least you get the relaxed hands down at the side type hands 
Nothing particularly special. Uh, it's just an open, relaxed hand. So that's it for the accessories. Like I said, it does come with a Tamashi stage, uh, stand, whatever you want to call it. I did not actually get that out because I'm pretty, much, pretty sure everybody that collects figure arts knows by now what those look like. So he does also come with this stand, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's supposed to look like just a piece of rock or mountain that he's standing on. Um, it actually works really well with the death ball pose or with the arms crossed. Uh, so that was pretty neat. It does have indentions there that you can see, that you can hopefully see. I'm going to try to move the light and see if it helps any. Um, you can see it is indented there for the feet, so you kind of know where exactly to place them for the best and most secure uh, stand, I guess. Uh, nothing on the bottom, just flat, but that's pretty much it. But that's really cool. I, I was glad they included that. I actually like that a lot versus the regular Tamashi stands, which are actually pretty cumbersome, and once you start using them, they kind of get in the way. Uh, so let me snap the death ball accessory piece off of here. So there's how it attaches. It just has a little break there and you can snap it on or you can pull the arm off, whatever you choose to do so. And then this pegs into the bottom. So then for the actual figure itself, see if we can get it back into some sort of normal pose here and not look too crazy. Um, very nicely done overall. Paint details are nice. It's actually a pretty simple figure. Uh, there is a little bit of darker coloring kind of on the legs and whatnot to kind of give it a, a shadowing kind of look, I guess you could say. But overall, it's really simple. Uh, it's just pretty much white and purple. Um, very nicely done. I think it pretty much looks exactly like the uh, character or, or the villain from the show. Um, the other head that I was telling you about, the, the evil I'm going to kill you all smirk like he thinks he's best at everyone. Uh, nicely detailed overall looks like I said pretty much exactly like it does in the show here's the other feet that I was telling you about that has these little pegs you can see there it just actually you know goes right in there and uh, stands pretty nicely I haven't had any issues with it at all uh, as far as the articulation goes pretty much your standard figure arts articulation uh, side to side up and down all that good stuff for the head 360 rotation both shoulders uh, swivel there at the upper bicep and Trying to get it lined back up correctly here. I always do this. Double jointed elbows as usual. Same wrist articulation that we've all grown accustomed to. Does have ab crunch at the uh, belt line as well as movement there at the chest line as well. Hopefully you can see that. Standard articulation for the legs, up and down movement there at the thigh, side to side, front to back. Double jointing at the knees and then this nice hinged ball type joint for the ankle. So, uh, oh, and then the tail. It does have articulation on this tail as well. You can see there, move back and forth, and rotates that way, and whichever way you choose to put it. So that's pretty much it for this particular figure. Um, overall, I was really, really impressed with it. Comes with a nice, uh, a nice choice of accessories, a nice uh, amount of accessories too, especially for poses. Uh, the energy attacks that it comes with is pretty cool. The inclusion of the additional heads was a really nice touch. And the extra tail was really cool too. Overall, I think that this is a great figure art. I was really impressed with it. I was really happy that I did end up getting it. If you are a fan of figure arts, and especially if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is definitely a figure that you need to have in your collection. Because I think it's totally worth it. And I think it's very, very nice. And you should just go buy it. At the time of recording, I'm pretty sure Big Bad Toy Store does still have it. Uh, I will put a link down in the description. As Frieza says, it'll be right down there. Um, so you can click on that and go to Big Bad Toy Store and order yourself a Final Form Frieza. So that's going to do it as I continue to get this back into some sort of pose to sign off here. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash rider zero. Uh, you can also follow me and like the Facebook page, facebook.com slash rider zero. Hopefully I can get this back into some sort of pose that doesn't look stupid. Um, and eventually, I promise, I promise I'm going to update the blog. I just have not had time, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to update that, so you can check that out at RiderZero.com. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any question, questions, comments, um, suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to add them and comment them and tweet them and whatever you would like to do to communicate. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends about it, have them come watch the videos uh, and enjoy them as well. 
So that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, take care.